Three, two, one. Is my hair parted in the, like normal or is it messed up? Because I can't see. I think it looks fine. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm not a stylist. I, I don't know. Know. <laughs> what up, peeps? I'm here with Kevin LaShawn. Yeah. And this is also known as Expert Thief. Go ahead, go through yeah. your stuff. I do music with the Kevin LaShawn and vlogs with that. And then with Expert Thief, that's my gaming channel. Yeah. <laughs> I am super appreciative of Kevin because when I made that first video, he wrote to me and said that he really liked this whole theme. He really supported me, so I, I was, thought it was cool. Yeah, I yeah. thought it was really dope. I, I seeing really, a different perspective on things, a little behind the scenes, behind the what you see on the screen. I thought that was really nice. So obviously, I wanted to try to get you in on an episode. Here so I am. We're gonna dive deep with you and see like right. where your head is at outside of the YouTube world, or even behind the scenes of it. I'm scared. I don't know. <laughs> That's Who are you really? Today's beginning topic is gonna be the YouTube grind. The YouTube grind. I know a lot about the YouTube grind. Go full force. I think that the grind of YouTube is something that people probably don't understand just how crazy it really is. It looks like, oh, you just make videos and that's yeah. so fun and easy, but like a lot goes into it. And I wouldn't say that it's easy or hard because everybody has different workflows and exactly. everyone makes different stuff. Some people make this kind of video, that kind of video. Everyone does different like quality videos too. Like something might take somebody days to make. Yeah. Something might take somebody 10 minutes. But exactly. I will say this, it takes a lot of time and energy you. No matter if you're making an easy video or like a video that takes tons of time, it takes a lot of time and energy to be in the YouTube grind because you're always thinking of ideas, you're always trying to make videos, edit videos, respond on social media and be active. So I think that just the overall grind is more so the time and energy you put into it, not necessarily like what type of videos you make. Don't you feel like time. your brain never really shuts off? Exactly. Like you, you can't you can't rest. Even when you're laying in bed, you're like, oh my god, did I did I like tweet today? Or you you yeah, know, like anything, like anything, or like, oh no, I didn't even. I, I just always feel like I'm forgetting something. Same. I always feel like I'll, I'll do, I'll spend my entire day coming up with ideas, making videos, sending them to my editor and stuff, and then I'll be like, shoot, did I forget something? Did I forget to make a thumbnail? Did I forget to like, did I miss, did I mistype the title on this video? Did I forget something in the description? Like, there's so many little things you have to remember, like the title, the tags, the description, all these little things matter so much that you're just like checking off the list and you're like, wait, did I really, did I get everything? And then you're thinking, what am I gonna do tomorrow? Like, what am I gonna create tomorrow now? It's like never ending. You gotta really love it to do it. Cause I have a lot of friends that have tried to do YouTube and they just kind of like, Stop. I have to. I, and it's funny because they those were the people who always thought it was so easy when they would see like it how, looks easy when it you it looks easy look when you it. watch it, but yeah. when you do it, it's actually not. Even if it's a vlog, like you would think it's easy, but you have to be very creative and think of yeah. new ideas all the time. A lot goes into it. It's a process. I feel like it's so much more than just making a video or just playing video games. Like that's what it looks like on paper. What do you do on YouTube? Oh, I play video games. Oh, you just play video games. It's like, well, yeah, I have to come up with the idea. I have to be entertaining. I have to be like mm -hmm. alive. I can't just sit there and be like, all right guys, today we're playing a game and I'm not gonna talk, I'm just gonna play. I don't know if this is a good question for you. Do you ever get tired of playing games? That's what people, <laughs> Ask me all the time. They're like, bro, Grand Theft Auto came out in 2013 and you're still playing it. Are you bored? I was bored for a, for a while, but then I took a break from it. Cause like for me, I don't want to do something if I'm not having fun. Like yeah. if I'm honestly not having fun, like I don't care if it's like, oh, but that's your channel's based on that. Like if I'm not having fun, I don't want to do it. Yeah. I want to make sure that what I'm creating is something that I'm actually enjoying. That's so I took a break. Way. I have fun playing it, but I have to, I have to do things in, in bursts or I have to take breaks at least. Cause if I do the same thing for years and years, it's obviously going to get boring for me. Mm -hmm. What about you? Do you ever get bored of like vlogging? Cause you vlog a lot and you, you've been doing vlogging for a long time. For do you ever get bored of it? The hardest thing for me to do as a vlogger now is vlog alone because I don't have someone to interact with. Yeah. And I don't always like to put my friends in the videos cause they don't always like being in videos. Yeah, I felt really It's just really tough. It's tough because- <laughs> Oh, when I- yeah, I was just joking. <laughs> when I filmed with you when yeah. I was vlogging. I was in the vlog, I was so like- good. I don't want to be in this though. <laughs> I didn't know I was gonna be on camera, so I was open I'm the door. Sorry, you know? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> That but it's cool. hard when you don't have someone to bounce off of. It. For sure, even with like doing gaming videos, it's so much easier to just jump into a game with friends because the, the energy and everything is just natural. Like everyone's just talking, mm -hmm. making jokes, and you don't even have to try to be entertaining. If you're with people that have that chemistry, it just happens. Exactly. But when you're doing stuff solo, it's so much harder to be it entertaining. Because you are just by yourself, thousands of people, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, however many, and you're just like, all right, how do I make you guys entertain? How do I make this interesting? So it's, it's a lot harder when you're just by yourself. Mm -hmm. So I see that completely. Yeah, yeah. that's definitely. Tough. That's why I don't vlog a lot right now is because I don't hang out with like a ton of people or go and do a lot of crazy interesting things when I'm at home It's usually like videos eating 
and like chilling. But when I travel, that's more so like, oh, there's something to actually show. Yeah. But when you do vlog at home, it's weird because I used to vlog at home for years in my house and stuff. Now I don't do it so much. It just doesn't feel fun. I know that you guys love that. I, d I don't know why, but that's I think, the balance, I think though. the thing is they like to see like the personal inside. They like to see like just what's Because for me, yeah. when I came in your house, I was like, wow, yeah. Kevin, <laughs> like this is how you're living. This is so cool. Dude, <laughs> damn. Whoa. Congrats, Kevin. This is sick. Thank you. You make your bed perfect. You're like me. This and is cool. I, oh, I like God. stepped into your world and I really yeah. enjoyed it. So I think that that's kind of how people interpret vlogs at home. You know? Yeah, or I see that. People like to see what other people do just in their everyday in life. Personal. I think it's just interesting. I, I didn't know we were in a hotel. <laughs> Impressed. Thank you. <laughs> and yeah, this house is cool and all, but for me, it's just like, it's just a house. Like, I actually learned from having this house that I feel like I'm more simplistic. I'm more like minimalistic, rather have like a smaller space that I fit better than just having a big house. Like I can have friends and stuff come to it, but I'm just more simple. I am learning from every single thing I do, who I am and what I enjoy, figuring out what's best for me as I yes. go through life. You were saying that basically you don't want to show the at-home life because you feel like it's boring, but you know that people want to see it. I've seen it in the comments that you guys want to see more at-home vlogs, and I don't know how badly you really, really want that, but for me to do it, it doesn't feels feel, like kinda, it feels for me boring. Like, like I feel like- I feel like that's the balance. Yeah, it's like what you asked hard. me with like, do I get bored of doing certain things for a long time? It's like the balance between doing what you really want to do and what people really want to see. Because that's what I always tell people that they ask me like, how do I get started on YouTube? How do I like grow? I'm like, find the balance between what you love to do and what people like to see. Because if you love it, but no one likes to watch it, you're not going to grow. Yeah. And if everybody likes to watch it and you hate it, then you're going to be miserable. Yes. And like, you might as well just no, go work true. like a nine to five in a cubicle and just like do something that you don't like. And if you can find that perfect like harmony, then you're good. Like that's Stop. that's what it is. And it's hard to find that. That's the thing is it's hard because you might be out there trying to start a YouTube channel and you might love what you're doing, but be like, no one's watching. You just gotta grind for like a long time and build the audience from the ground up. What are people looking for? Like what's trending? What are people like interested in? And try to like marry what you like doing with what people like watching that's like hot right now. Make it work. That's one thing I did whenever I was first starting out. I would just find what's happening in pop culture. How can I make that interesting to me and like funny? Yeah. And I made I made skits and stuff like that. I think it was a little different because it was vlogging and pranks for me, so it wasn't necessarily like what's happening. Pranks were hot though. Yeah, no, well that was that was yeah that Prank, was. Different. Pranks are always hot. People <laughs> always love a good prank. I don't know. I feel like that world has died it's a kind lot. Of a but it's I feel so like different. I see pranks do pretty good though still. Like, yeah, I'll but see some pranks. Like it's definitely not, not like it was. Like there was insane. literally pranks were probably one of the most viewed things on YouTube for a period of time. There was like an era of pranks where mm -hmm. pranks were everywhere. But I feel like yeah, it's definitely died down, but there are still people that get like a lot of views on pranks. It just depends. People might not be have as much time to invest as like Facebook. You put a prank on Facebook, you see them with like 30 million views. You know what's so funny? What? I don't even have a Facebook account. <laughs> I, I, I never did once. <laughs> never. You never created one ever? Never. You, ever yes, you ever. have. All right. So there was the no, prank. No, everybody has a Facebook. I'm telling you right now. God, no, I'm I telling swear. you right now. What's his name? Mark Zuckerberg has made you a Facebook account. I, <laughs> I guarantee no everybody has one. They probably just forced us to have one. Someone's like, oh, she doesn't have and one. And you know what bothers me so bad is when you want to sign up for something, like, you have to log into your Facebook account. I'm like, That's I don't have days. one. Why do I need one? And, and I was like, screw this app. Never. I mean, maybe one day, but I feel like at no, this don't. point, like, how am I gonna start don't. to build it up? Like, I don't, I don't even want to deal don't with it. Don't make a Facebook. If you don't have a Facebook, you don't need a Facebook. Yeah, I'll tell you that right now. I much. never use Facebook. I don't post anything on my page. I don't post anything on my like uh, brand pages or whatever. I don't use it. I only use uh, Instagram and a little bit of Twitter. That's about it. Yeah. I don't even really like social media that much. I like Instagram. Everything else, I don't even really. <laughs> it's just too much. Like it's too much posting everywhere. I can't keep. Yeah, I can't keep track. That's the other inside of it. It's it's just a lot of platforms to be active on if yeah. you want to stay yeah. in front of your audience. Yeah, if you want to kind of like be everywhere and like optimize it the the best you can, you have mm -hmm. to kind of be everywhere. How about like so you do gaming and you don't show your face? I like, never really show my yeah. face so much. Do people recognize you a lot? Yeah, because since I have two channels, I have like a channel that's more like real life stuff, like vlogs and music, where I'm always shown and then I have the gaming side where I'm just too lazy to show myself <laughs> so like I've never shown on there but people recognize me either if I'm wearing like like merch like that has my logo on it 
or my voice maybe. I don't know how people recognize me to be honest. Well, I mean, you, I, I, I'm, sh it's easy because you're like, yeah, you, have, you do have the other channel where yeah. you, it's probably you because can the other be channel. recognizable. What are the interactions like with your viewers? When I see them in real yeah. life? Oh, they're always really nice. I love my viewers. They're the I know. Best. They're really cool. I yeah. Isn't it fun? I love meeting you guys. Oh, this is something I don't think I ever got to tell you guys this. I think sometimes when people meet us, they're probably afraid to get into like a certain type of discussion or talk too much. But I really would love if you told me how you either began watching or how I may have impacted you in some way. Because when you guys tell me those stories, I'm like, wow, like this is so amazing. It's so cool. I never knew that. I think sometimes I would have never ever known if you don't tell me. And sometimes yeah. I think people are afraid. Yeah, I think people are afraid to even approach sometimes. I know. And sometimes you ever I get the message like, I saw you, yeah, but I didn't want to like, say anything. Yeah, I'm like, why didn't you tell me? I'm like, yo, you can I just come said, up I'm and so say nice. Like, I'm so nice. I'm really love chill. To meet you guys. I was in Japan once. Mm -hmm. And there was like these three kids that I saw and they looked at me a certain way. <gasps> Go. Guys, this is so funny. <laughs> Just so you know, I have one minute to leave this house, yeah, yeah, get in an Uber, and catch a flight to go back Forget home. the story. You need to get the hell out of here right now. <laughs> I hope I don't miss my flight. But no, like, you should be good. You should be good. Maybe let's touch on one more topic real quick. Question. Will I be safe if I take a teeny extra time for the video? Will I make my flight? You should. I hope. If not, I'm crashing on your nice extra bed. Uh, you <laughs> missed your flight. Then. I'm sorry, but we're full. You're gonna have to sleep at the airport. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm banging down nah, that if, door. There's plenty of room. Like, I know. If, if you good. get screwed, then you're fine. If you didn't see the vlog with him, that's already up. So make sure you check it out. Cause I did a house tour of his house, and it's it's dope. Excuse. That's what I wanted to talk about. What? Do you have any travel plans or anything coming up? I have some stuff, but you're gonna have to stay tuned to see what it is. All I can say is I secretly do know it, but. <laughs> if, if. You asked me because you know. Because I wanted you guys to know. Can I come at, for some of the trip? What do you mean come for some Can of the I trip? Can I join for some of the trip? Just join? I'm like inviting myself on your. I don't. With what I'm doing, I don't think you can just join. Um, and you, you guys will he understand. He didn't actually tell me details yet. Yeah. Okay. But Damn you, it. Can, you can go to the place that I'm gonna be at for sure. But with what I'm doing there, I don't think you just go. You'll understand once now like, I talk about it. Later. I feel so bad because you guys are so confused. They're so, probably like, what so the hell is I, happening? I don't know where. I know where he's going, but I don't know. Now I need to know what you're, what you're doing. That Off is, camera. I feel so bad for you guys. That's the the biggest tease in the world. I told her not to bring it up, kind of. I want to tell you guys, but I can't. So I was like, don't say it, but. Just... All right, guys, anyway, <laughs> I'm, I'm legit about to miss my flight. So I have to get out of here and I appreciate you coming on. Dope freshness. Yep, yep, so. Peeps. Make sure you guys check out the video we did. We did a, a oh gaming video. Gosh. I tried to play Grand Theft Auto. You have to that see this video. That was a disaster, so funny, thank it you. It was awesome though, it was funny. <laughs> I you you did okay. It was funny. There was a lot of crazy stuff that happened. Check out the video of her trying to play Grand Theft Auto. It's ridiculous. <laughs> and make sure you subscribe to Kevin because Thank he's you. got some dope content. And Click I will bell. see you guys next time. Peace. Thank you. Just chop it up. <gasps> what happened? I forgot to record. You didn't oh my god. You didn't press oh, you checked me. I was like, what? <laughs> All right, guys. Peace. <laughs> what the heck? Why if you guys enjoyed this video, please hit the subscribe button and also hit the notifications so you'll know every time I upload a video.